you in it! Um... Hey everybody, welcome back to today's reactions, What If, Episode 7. Just a little recap with Episode 6. Um, it was okay, it was not that great, but it was a very interesting episode of, like, what if, um, Tony Stark was rescued by Killmonger. And it starts with, like, from the first Iron Man movie when Tony Stark was in Afghanistan and there was, like, a battle and that he gets abducted by some the bad guys and that he was in like in prison for a long period of time and then somehow he escapes by creating like an Iron Man suit and then that's you know leads him the way of becoming Iron Man but the twist of it was that in this episode um Killmonger rescued him which was very interesting that's Killmonger Tony Stark never becomes Iron Man and him and Killmonger somehow become buddies and then they work together. At one point they decide they want to get Vibranium to like, you know, to like, I think to like upgrade the Stark industry and Killmonger um, suggested um, with Claw, that's the name of the villain, um, Ulysses something, but his nickname is Claw from the Black Panther movie, he was the villain. And that they get it from him, but they also, that um, Black Panther comes along and fights to get back the Vibranium, but Killmonger kills Black Panther, and he kills um, Lieutenant Rhodes, who, you know, works for Tony Stark and also tries to help Killmonger, but Killmonger betrays him by killing him. And somehow Tony Stark finds out about that and he's really upset. He um, puts Killmonger to battle with one of um, Stark industry vibranium robots and you know sad a shame part was Killmonger defeats Stark industry and kills Tony Stark which that was just crazy and it was a thing with the Black Panther movie that Killmonger goes to Wakanda he kills Claw and then like takes his body to Wakanda and tells them that he's one of them and that he's T'Challa's cousin and that he helps the family to fight with the Americans who have the vibranium robots that are gonna fight against the Wakanda people so there's a fight between them and then at the end Wakanda wins and then Killmonger lives with Wakanda but he also becomes the new Black Panther and the Prince of Wakanda and it just was leading up to like you know with Killmonger still being a bad guy but he still wins like he still wins with defeating um, Tony Stark with killing T'Challa and becoming the new Black Panther and then it ends with um, Pepper Potts who still believes that Killmonger is the suspect and that he's responsible for the death of Tony Stark and with Lieutenant Rhodes and D'Challa's sister, I believe, that was the young girl, that they both were talking and saying, you know what, we both know who the enemy is, let's work together to get justice. And then it ends to there. So it kind of was like a brief of like, you know, what would happen with Tony Stark, what happened if he was never Iron Man, and you know, with Killmonger and all of that. So that was episode six, and like I said, it was all right. It wasn't really good, but it was all right. It was interesting, but it was all right. But that was all for episode six, so let's get started with episode seven. All righty, episode seven. Here we go. Las Vegas? Oh my god. So, what if 
Thor and Loki were not brothers? Is that what the episode? So I'm guessing also Thor is like a child or like an irresponsible god. <laughs> Something like that. And she she's supposed to be Jane Foster. Okay. <laughs> E.T. <laughs> the duck again? Oh my god. <laughs> She's so short. <laughs> Stood on you. Did he just say horse gods? Okay. I don't know about horse gods. Oh my god. Okay, fine, duck. But this is not a date. Let's just see where this evolves. Oh no. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> oh wait, oh. that Captain Marvel? Yes, it's gonna send to Captain Marvel. Okay, so Captain Marvel is what? Gonna get Thor? Oh my god, that's Loki! Oh god. Popsicle stick. Oh my god, this is crazy. You know, <laughs> he's like a big blue avatar. <laughs> Did you boo? <laughs> oh, that's Captain Marvel. I bet you that's Captain Marvel. Oh, she's coming for you, Thor. She's coming for you. Thor. 
What is it? Oh, <laughs> I was like, what is he gonna say? Oh, Fury. Aww, Fury. <laughs> oh, 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 the hammer. <laughs> Wow, how does she not realize it was coming back? Oh, I'm surprised that Captain Marvel is getting defeated that fast. Oh, she's pissed! <laughs> Surprised Captain Marvel can't lift the hammer? Because I was thinking she's one of the most powerful superheroes that I would suspect that she would lift the hammer. <laughs> yeah! It's Thor. Oh God! Thor's new sweet lady. Hello. Is Thor there? <laughs> oh no! If, if there's a Thor and a Loki, then there must be an Odin and a Frigga and and a Heimdall. <laughs> You go, Captain Marvel. <laughs> I had a visitor. She's worried about you. James told me. She said you were on Midgard. Well, she is mistaken. I'm obviously in my room studying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cutting my trip short. Come in here. And, my sweet son, I expect to see your full syllabus when I arrive. My suggestion? Start in the corners, clean your way outward. <laughs> what corners? <laughs> he said, What corners? Is that Captain Marvel? Here's the information you requested on human Oh man, she's helping Thor. NPR podcast. I'll call you next week to discuss it. I know who you are. Thank you for helping educate my son. Almost 
Pretty boy. <laughs> Perhaps I spoke too soon. <gasps> Is that vision? Wait a minute. Um Alrighty, well that was What If Episode 7, um, that was actually a pretty funny episode, um, I think it was just funny to see Thor kind of like a, kind of like an immature kid, you know, he was such a pretty boy, and, you know, it was kind of interesting of like, I think this episode was basically like, what if Thor, um, and Loki were not brothers, so what if Thor was just an only child, or some, something like that, or what if he was just a, you know, not an actual man he was kind of acting like a pretty boy and i thought it was just funny that he just was like going all these different places on earth and was partying a lot and then we see loki like a big gigantic avatar <laughs> it was kind of funny and then we see jane foster um and I love the fact with Captain Marvel and Thor fighting, I thought it was kind of funny. But the one thing that I'm really curious to see, you know, you know, at the ending of the episode, I am wonder if that's gonna be the next episode. So, at the end of this episode, you know, with Thor asking Jane on a date and Jane says, yeah, call me or something, and then he leaves being all happy and all, and then he sees like an army of Ultrons. They look like Ultron. And we see the actual Ultron, and then the the mask thing opens, and it, it looked like Vision, because it had the yellow, well, now thinking about it, I think it was Vision, because there was the Mind Stone on the forehead, so I feel like that was Vision. So, I'm curious if that's going to be a connection with, I don't know if it's ever going to be a connection or not, but if it's going to be somehow in the next episode, I don't know, but... It looked like a combination of Ultron and Vision. So I'm curious of what that means. Like, what if Vision was Ultron or what if Ultron was Vision? I don't know. But that scene really got to me thinking, wait a minute, what's going on here? And, oh, I even realized that um, I it, it was like a glimpse of it. But I noticed on the chest, they... There were like stones that look like the infinity stones. So I'm curious if Ultron has all the infinity stones. Because if he does, that's crazy. Is, is there going to be an episode of like, what if Ultron has all the infinity stones and not Thanos? If they have an episode like that, that, that would be a very crazy episode to see. But yeah, that's all for today's reaction of What If Episode 7. I can't wait to do Episode 8. So, like my video, subscribe my channel, leave comments below what you thought about the video and what you thought about the episode. And catch on to the next reaction video, and I'll see you later, guys.